name is Jeff Speck. I'm from Rockford, Illinois, and I'm currently enrolled online at Full Sail University in the Digital Cinematography Bachelor's Degree Program. I want to take some time and talk about war films and how they have changed. It's hard for one to imagine what the film industry would be like without war movies. Ever since Birth of a Nation on the Pearl Harbor, we have experienced just about every aspect of conflict within the war genre. Let's go back 90 years or so so we can see what film was like when it was still new and war was still an unlived feeling unless you were enlisted or drafted. At the time, the Central Powers and Allies were both producing war documentaries. One of the first comedy war films was produced in 1918, starring Charlie Chaplin, titled Shoulder Arms. A more recent comedic film depicting war is Tropic Thunder, directed by well-known actor Ben Stiller. In the 1940s, British filmmakers began combining documentary techniques and fictional storylines to make up films such as Millions Like Us, while others used a different approach that exposed more propaganda. Truth was that it was very possible we could continue to have wars on this planet and often go on to reproduce them on film. Every real war has affected and influenced directors' opinions of war if he so much chooses to pay attention to war. War introduces new ideas for them for films based upon actual war events. When we started making films of battles in space, that's when war films got real interesting. Interstellar warfare caught a lot of people's attention, especially when Star Wars was released. People were used to seeing wars with old army tanks and infantry battling it out on the front lines. I believe the modernization of weapons, vehicles, and technology in general has been a main factor in the war movie evolution. How far the director is willing to take new ideas is up to him. But with the help of special effects, we don't actually have to blow up the White House, like from Independence Day, to get that representation. Independence Day is a great movie about an extraterrestrial war taking place on Earth. Most would agree that aliens tend to have the upper hand when it comes to being the more advanced species, but in the end of most interstellar war films, they seem to lose just about every time. Movies like Independence Day, War of the Worlds, and Battle of Los Angeles are some of the most popular extraterrestrial war movies ever produced. They contain just about everything you could want in a war movie. There's blood, guts, death, misfortune, futuristic weapons, real-life weapons, and sometimes a sense of peace at the end. Today, war movies take more into consideration than early on when you could just shoot a war film on your neighbor's farm property. Nowadays, filmmakers must fly overseas to film certain locations, trying not to break any treaties or laws along the way. Along the way. Now, be careful. Be careful. You don't want to go and make a war film about North Korea getting invaded by the United States because that could just really set them off and possibly make them feel more defiant about their actions due to the fact that war is all a sense of carelessness for human life and maybe that's what people are getting used to.